AITA for refusing to pay for my husband and his family's meals at the restaurant? Titles sound bad I know, but I'll let you decide who's in the wrong. To begin, my husband and I don't share finances. It's been like this for the three years of our marriage and so far we've been doing well. Though he'd sometimes try to get me to pay for him but I do it only when I want to do a nice thing. For him, say invite him to a restaurant. This past week, he got a bonus at work. He was overjoyed he informed his entire family and planned for them to go out and celebrate with us. He picked the restaurant, meals, drinks etc. I naturally thought he was going to pay for all that since. It's his happy celebration, but it turns out I was wrong because when it was time to pay the bill, he told me to take care of it, I said why? It's his celebration not mine but he insisted I pay and he'll explain later. I refused and demanded an explanation. He said that while yes he is the one who got bonus. But he assumed I'd want to celebrate that and offer to cover the bill. When I talked about how ridiculous it was of him to assume I'd pay for not just his. But his family's meals he said that I should be happy for him instead of being visibly bitter. He then said he's yet to receive his bonus and begged that I take care of the bill now and he might consider paying me back later. I refused and only paid for what I consumed. Him and his family started talking about how inappropriate I was acting. I took my purse and went home afterwards cause there was so much commotion when they started arguing who's going to cover the bill. His mom spam called me for hours. And he went off on me at home saying I spoiled his celebration and joy because I'm feeling bitter. Especially considering I had enough money to cover the bill right there and then. I said this wasn't my obligation and he was the one who came up with the celebration idea. He argued that if the roles were reversed and I got a bonus. He'd celebrate me and my achievements and pay for the damn meals after taking me and my family out. I casually said, well, that's just you not me. He got even more pissed and said that he had had it with my juvenile antics and that he won't ever forget the scene I made at the restaurant in front of his family. Been upset with me for days now. I think you two have bigger issues here that should have been dealt with before you got married. But NTA. NTA. You guys have separate finances. He didn't ask you beforehand. This was wildly tacky and presumptuous of him. The, maybe I'll pay you back, really sealed it for me. What a tool. NTA. If he planned this and expected you to foot the bill you shouldn't have been the last to know. A conversation with you was warranted before you got to the restaurant and not in front of his. Family. NTA. It's common knowledge that you do not invite people to dinner and then expect them to pay for everyone else. You don't trap your spouse in awkward situations like that, either. He said the celebration was for his bonus. He invited everyone to eat out. Both if these, especially combined, imply that he's going to pay. He purposely set you up. And then he got his family in on it. He's using you. To the point where I would argue that this is financial abuse. Especially since he's done things like this before. I would take a careful look at this relationship and see if it's going to work. I would insist on couples counseling if I were you. Counseling. At the very least. Whose idea was the dinner? He informed his entire family and planned with them to go out and celebrate with us. Oh. He did. He told me to take care of it. Told you. Dot not asked. Location flag. He assumed. You know what they say about assuming. I said this wasn't my obligation and he was the one who came up with the celebration. Correct. He planned it. He invited people. He pays. Said that he had had it with my juvenile antics. The only one being juvenile is him. He won't ever forget the scene I made. Oh geez. Location flag location flag.
Do not ever blend your finances. It sounds like he feels entitled you your money. Edit. Forgot judgment NTA. Edit 2 might pay is also a location flag and means. I won't pay. There are more red flags. Him sicking mommy on you is one. When you are in a rush. You miss things. LOL. Entates his bonus. He wanna celebrate it. He invited everyone to the restaurant so I also would've assumed he's gonna pay for it. I never. Would've paid for them either. LOL what a weird guy and family. You can't keep finances separate and then make demands of the other person's funds. NTA. If he got a bonus why couldn't he pay? Especially since y'all have this rule where y'all pay for yourselves already. He just didn't want to spend the extra money on a celebration he planned. Like damn dude if you don't want to pay don't plan a celebration dinner. NTA. I'm going to get extra money so celebrate by treating me and my family to dinner? Am I missing something? That makes no sense. Why did his family then not pay for his meal? Why did you had to pay for them as well? Makes no sense. NTA op. NTA who the fuck does he think he is? He invited you out for dinner. So he should pay. It's rude of him to invite his whole family out to dinner and expect you to foot the bill. If his mom was so concerned about ruining his celebration, she should have offered to get the bill. NTA. NTA. He arranged it. Chose the place. Who to invite. He should pay. Unless it was discussed prior. You two definitely need more discussion on boundaries and rules if you are going to keep finances separate. NTA. He set you up and he's mad it didn't work. But your marriage isn't looking good. NTA. He invited his family. He can pay. He knew he didn't have the money to afford covering all their meals and drinks yet he invited them. And waited until the end of the night to try and spring the bill on you. He knew if he told you up front he couldn't afford it that you would say no. He tried to manipulate you into paying and it backfired on him causing him to be embarrassed. Seems like he feels entitled to your money. Honestly. I just wouldn't even bother with this relationship. He tried to tell you to pay. Not ask. He tried to manipulate the situation at the end to make you feel guilty and pay. He didn't even guarantee to pay you back. Don't ever join finances. You won't ever have any money to spare. NTA. Your husband is the one who came up with the idea and invited everyone even though he hadn't. Received the bonus money yet. I feel like it's extremely rude of him to think that you'd pay for it. NTA. This whole thing is bonkers. I have a lot of questions about a married couple splitting the check but someone inviting the whole family out to dinner to celebrate a bonus is crazy. Promotion. Yes. Bonus. No. Unless that bonus was $25,000 this is so juvenile. NTA. There should have been a conversation before he invited anyone. NTA. It sounds as if this wasn't the first time he tried making you pay for him. Does he do this because he is poor or because he is bitter you are doing well financially? If he is poor, he shouldn't invite people out for dinner. If he is bitter, you two need a few sessions with a couple's therapist if you can agree on who will pay the therapist. NTA unless otherwise stated beforehand, the one who did the inviting is the one who pays the bill. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.